Hello, I'm Gregory Sale, and I'm an advocate for justice reform and successful reentry after incarceration. I began this work over 10 years ago in response to the heavy handed justice and media stunts of Arizona Sheriff Joe Arpaio. These long term projects invite disparate constituencies to engage in dialogue and creative process. While I continued to work in Arizona, Last year, I became an embedded artist with the Anti-Recidivism Coalition, also known as ARC. I invited ARC members to participate in an ongoing restorative justice project that involved voices less heard in the community writing about love as a social political campaign. ARC was founded by successful Hollywood producer Scott Butnick and works to help young adults get a fresh start. Its members are committed to positive change in their lives, at 15, Dominic was sentenced to 35 years. He participated in a project I co-created for a conference in Pennsylvania. One of the senators that I, uh, some of the people and senators that I spoke to, they didn't have a lot of time. They, they were super busy, so I said, listen, you don't have a lot of time. I'm not going to waste your time by trying to talk to your off. I just want to show you something. And I literally did. I gave them this card, which is my old prison ID. I showed him to him, he looked at it for a second, then I went in my other pocket, and I took you out, and I showed him this college ID. And I said, that is the difference, sir. That is the difference. And he said, enough said. And he was like, honestly, speechless for a few seconds. The members share their turnaround stories with legislators to convince them that rehabilitation is possible, leading to laws for more humane sentencing for juveniles and restored budgets for prison college programs. As you reform the justice system, more and more inmates will be released. ARC members and I are currently developing an arts-based public service campaign focused on raising awareness in support of returning citizens, changing the way their story is framed, exploring creative process, reimagining themselves, their positions in society, and society's response to them, and moving beyond the paradigm of inside and outside. Starting in 2016, a core group of project collaborators began working on creating a set of ID-inspired artworks. Together, we facilitated art and future planning workshops and public programs. The workshops provided a structured environment for participants to conceive and develop a vision for a future self, for a dream job, a role in society, or a continuing role with family, such as father or mother. During this artistic process, the core team decided to focus on the future and came up with the title, Future IDs. The whole project is centered around uh, identity, which is reclaiming their identity and re-identifying yourself with your internal and your external. More than merely representations of functional documents, the ID-inspired artworks express self-created identities in stark contrast to prison-issued IDs. They're yeah, something that, you know, they constantly remind me and they help me um, keep my vision in front of me. At the end of the day, this is where I want to be. A lot of times, men get the majority of the attention for uh, having been incarcerated or in prison. Women still seem to be stigmatized by it and have a form of embarrassment for it, a shame for society. And, that, and that's a hard place to come from and overcome for many people. As a highly visible culmination of this multi-year project, we are currently producing future IDs at Alcatraz. The year-long exhibition at the iconic prison turned national park in San Francisco Bay will open in fall 2018 in partnership with the National Park Service and its nonprofit partner, the Golden Gate National Parks Conservancy. On the third Saturday of each month, the installation will be accompanied by a series of public programs and events co-curated with local justice organizations and community members. Together, the Future ID artwork generates a dynamic visualization of individual stories of transformation, a testament to the power of direct personal narrative. Every one of us is planning our future, moving forward with an existing plan or choosing to move forward without one. We don't always think of people in prison or those with conviction histories as having a future. Thank you.